record it now. Yes, record it. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global via Zoom. I'm joined by Spencer Fearon. Spencer, we're living in a horrible world at the moment, it's sad to say, but we uh, had some positive news today. Uh, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua have agreed terms for a two-fight deal. And um, Tyson took to his Instagram to say that Daniel Kinahan has uh, played a major part in, in setting up this fight. Uh, what can you tell us about this, Spencer? Um, fair play to Daniel Kinahan. He is a super heavyweight of a broker world full of junior flyweights. So props to Daniel Kinahan. I think Tyson Fury uh, uh, put it out there. It's, it's, it's great. You know what I mean? Got props. You know what I mean? Anybody who can get Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, who are not the biggest fans of each other, to sit down and negotiate a deal. And the thing about it is this. When have you ever seen Bob Arum say anything nice about anyone? And Bob Arum is the guy that said, listen, who validated, who gave him that blue tick, right? Who said, right, if you want this deal to be done, you're going to have to speak to Daniel Kinahan. You want this deal to be done, and especially if you're going out to the Middle East, you have to speak to Daniel Kinahan. So therefore, salute, my brother. To add to that, let me just read a, a statement today from uh, Frank Warren. Frank Warren's come out and said, we confirm negotiations have taken place between Eddie Earn and Tyson's advisor, Daniel Kinahan. Both Queensbury and Top Rank and MTK agreed that this would be the best way forward due to the existing relationship between Eddie Hearn and Daniel Kinahan. So as you were saying, Eddie and Frank, people were concerned about this Fury Joshua fight not happening because they've never worked together before. But it seems like uh, Daniel's doing the legwork and uh, basically provided us one of the biggest fights ever. Spencer. He certainly has. And I hope because, you know, the fight's going to happen uh, most probably next year. Um, and I pray that it's on March the 8th because it would be significant to the fact that March, the, it'd, be 20, it'd be 50 years since Ali fought smoking Joe Frazier. So I'll be so looking forward for that fight to just go ahead uh, on that day. I hope it's on March the 8th so they do it on the 50th anniversary when when Ali and, and Frazier had the fight of the century. Spencer, just in general, how much power and influence does Dan have uh, within the boxing world today? Listen, uh, Daniel Kinahan has more links than Boots the Chemist. He's the guy, right? I'm just being real. He's, he, he's the guy, uh, uh, a very humble man, speaks, speaks, fighters trust him. People trust him. I'm just, they trust him. So, you know what I mean? And it, they, they, he, must know, he must know something where powerhouses like Frank Warner, Eddie Hearn, and Bob Aaron can sit down and negotiate a deal of this magnitude. Frank Warren's also stated today that Joshua and Fury could be earning 60 to $70 million per fight. Uh, that could be their purses. Reaction to that, Spencer? They'll earn more. That's my reaction. They will earn more. You know why? Because this fight will be the most watched heavyweight title clash in history. Mark my words. They're going to earn more than that. That's just a ballpark figure. They're going to earn more. Going off Fury's uh, last fight against Wilder and Joshua's last fight against Ruiz, do you have a favourite at this present time for that fight? A favourite? Yeah. Who do you yeah. make? Daniel Kinahan. Fair enough, fair enough, Spencer. Um, last one before I let you go. Dylan White's obviously mandatory, been waiting for ages. Uh, looks like Fury could become WBC franchise champion uh, and therefore Dylan's going to be waiting for a shot for even longer. Uh, thoughts on Dylan's situation, Spencer? No, because similar to Charlo um, and Canelo, where Canelo was made franchise champion uh, and then Charlo fought for the WBC, BBC ordinary belt or whatever I think regular belt I don't know. I can't keep up with this shit <laughs> right so I think like that's what Dylan White would, would end up with doing but then Dylan White would get a shot at at the winner after the two fights you know what Joshua uh, Joshua Fury could could go to a third fight to tell you the truth because if it's one a piece and there were good fights then it could maybe go a third time. And I do feel sorry for, for, for Dylan White, 
I really do feel sorry for him. And maybe Dylan White needs to talk to Daniel Kinahan as well. All right. Well, on that note, Spencer, thanks for your time and uh, we'll catch up soon. All right. Take care. All right. Peace.